Welcome to the CMC Assist tutorial. I would like to show you how CMC Assist is organized for you to make the best use of it. As you can see, different tasks are organized in tabs in the flow interface following the order of a typical workflow. First, you open data in the data tab. Then you process the NMR data in the processing tab before you analyze the data in the analysis tab. And finally, you choose a reporting format here. You can change structure or change the layout of the whole uh, display with the structure and the view tabs. On the left hand side is a data browser where you can select your data from. Below is a structure window which shows the proposed molecular structure if one is available. In the bottom part you see a status information window which tells you which datasets have been used for the analysis and what the outcome of the consistency analysis is. The main part of the workflow window is the spectra display area where a few tools with a few tools on top. You see a redo and an undo button as well as a button for multiplet definition, integral definition or zoom options for the library analysis. CMC Assist also includes the typical broker buttons for different display options as you know them from Topspin. The software also comes with a command line which some users might be familiar with from using Topspin. This allows the immediate access to any command without going through pushing buttons or menus. In this way, any action in CMC Assist can also easily be scripted. I will now show you on an example how to work with CMC Assist with a new 1D dataset. First, I will browse in the browser window to the desired dataset and I will open it by double clicking on the processing number. The software tells me that it found a non-processed dataset and what I should do in order to process the data and get a spectrum displayed. I will do just this and go to process, process spectrum and I will get a processed 1D proton spectrum. If I want to, I can manually or automatically modify the process spectrum with, for example, different phase correction options. If I click this little button here, I can get different options for automatic phase corrections or if I push the button itself, I can manually change the phase correction of the spectrum in zero order or first order in the spectrum. If I do have a molecular structural proposal for this NMR dataset, I can import the structure in different ways. One example is to load a mole file through structure, add mole file and then select the appropriate mole file from the selection list. Another option is to just draw the structure with the integrated structure editor. I can now start analyzing the data and I do this by going to analyze and then pressing analyze spectrum. As this is the first time this data set is analyzed and it has not been run on Fastlane NMR or with CMC assist on the instrument, I'm asked a few questions. I'm asked whether this spectrum has been run with suppression or unsuppressed, or whether I know a few impurities already, or whether I know a calibration file directory for the quantification. If I know which dataset contains my reference spectrum for quantification, I will select it here. And this goes down to the processing number level. If I, for example, knew that my last purification step contained cyclohexane, I would select it in the known impurities step. I can also define my own impurities areas, which will then be taken into account by the automatic analysis. And last but not least, as I'm working in an unsuppressed spectrum, I have to make sure that I select unsuppressed in this window. If I want to save these settings for later analysis as well, I can just simply click the Save button. And if I now want to start the analysis, I can start the analysis by clicking this button. 
After a few moments, the analysis will be finished and the results will be displayed in the result window as well as on the structure and in the information window. The automatic analysis yields several types of information. It first shows that the software has come to the conclusion that the spectrum and the structure are consistent with each other. It then also yields a complete assignment proposal where it suggests which peak is assigned to which feature in the molecule. This can be seen by highlighting here in the structure or as well on the spectrum here. It also shows the appropriate proton assignments on the structure itself in PPM as it has done the assignment. This can be either turned on or turned off. Also other information on the structure can be turned on or turned off, like for example numbers on the mole file or multiplets by multiplet namings as they are used in the spectrum. As I have specified a calibration reference spectrum, the analysis algorithm also yields a concentration and indicates which peak is used in order to determine this concentration. Once the analysis is done, there are different options to report the results. Short report and full report both generate PDF documents with different information depth. While the short report is a one-page document with all the essential information on one page, the full report shows more detail. In addition to these PDF reports, you can choose patent string in order to extract the spectral description in patent or publication format. Several journal formats are provided with different options for sorting and information content. This string can then be easily pasted into a Word document.